In this video, we'll find the protons and electrons for H+. This is the hydrogen ion. The first thing we probably should do is find the protons and electrons just for neutral hydrogen. That's the hydrogen that we find on the periodic table. We know it's neutral because there's no negative or positive sign after it. So all the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. So for hydrogen, for H here, the atomic number, that's this right here. So we have an atomic number of 1. And actually, the atomic number for hydrogen or the hydrogen ion, it's always 1. So we can just put the 1 there. And the atomic number, that equals the number of protons. So we know for both of these, the number of protons is going to be 1. So the atomic number, number of protons, that's the same for the element and its ion. Electrons, though, that's going to be different. When we have a neutral element, like hydrogen, on the periodic table, the number of protons and the number of electrons is going to be the same. So we have one proton one electron. That makes sense. This is positive. This is negative. They cancel out. For the H+, plus, think of it this way. Electrons are negative. So when we lose a negative charge, we become more positive. This is a 1+. plus. It's not written, but we assume that's 1+. plus. So we've lost one electron. So the hydrogen ion, H+, plus, it doesn't have any electrons. It's actually just a proton. It's important to understand that when an atom loses an electron, negative charge, it becomes positive. The atom that receives that electron, it gets the negative charge, it becomes a negative ion. So that's how you find the protons and electrons for hydrogen. If you're interested in finding the neutrons for the different isotopes of hydrogen, there's a link in the description for a video on how to do that. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.